Welcome to Digital Asset News to get top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some stories about mass adoption and some concerning stuff. So first up, in the Q3 earnings report, MicroStrategy told all of their investors that they are looking to buy more Bitcoin on top of all the great news that comes along with buying $425 million worth of Bitcoin and seeing it go to over $500 million. Also, we're going to dig into the Bitcoin investor study, which was just released by Grayscale. And the most telling information is how far we've actually come to propelling us to mass adoption. And we're going to dig into the study, which proves exactly what I'm talking about. Surprise, surprise, Coinbase goes down as Bitcoin approaches 2019 highs. It is just amazing and boggles my mind that a billion dollar company keeps going down again and again and again when the Bitcoin price goes up by $500 or more. On top of that, we're gonna talk about Coinbase launching their crypto debit card in the US for retail spending. And finally, some good news, which is Nano Ledger is introducing swapping on the Nano Ledger app, Ledger Live. So what this means, you're able to swap cryptocurrencies within Ledger Live without using exchange. So if you're looking for a Nano Ledger, this is the perfect time to grab one because as you add it to your cart and go to the checkout, all you have to do is add digital asset news, click apply and get 20% off immediately. If you're looking for the official link, it is in the description of every one of my videos. So check that out at your leisure and let's jump into today's market. So today it is October 28th. It's almost 2 p.m. Texas time. So I'm getting done a little early. Pretty excited about that. Uh, what's going on in the market? Bitcoin is down 3%. Uh, not surprising. And uh, I know yesterday everybody was really excited and like, oh, you know, might break 14,000, might go to 15,000. But again, this isn't my first rodeo. I know pretty much how the markets are going to react. I could be wrong, but uh, usually, usually not all the time, uh, you're going to see a seesaw pattern. It's going to go up, it's going to go down, it's going to go up and down. There is no, it's very rare for things just to go parabolic. And w once that happens, you'll know it, you'll see it, you'll feel it. But uh, I can just tell you from experience, I didn't see that actually coming. And people were saying, I'm dumping all my money into Bitcoin. I'm like, wait, just calm down, relax. It's going to be okay. Dollar cost average because tomorrow it'll probably go down or maybe in a couple of days it'll go down. And that's exactly what happened. Now it could have gone up and I would, I would have been uh, completely wrong. However, I always want to err on the side of caution. It's like if it goes up, well, you made some money because you already have money into Bitcoin. And if it goes down, well, now it's a fantastic buying opportunity. So you really can't lose. And some people will say, ah, but I lost up, I lost out on all those gains. Look, it's better to lose out on a little bit of gains than to lose multiple percentages in a 24 hour, 40 hour time frame, and just kind of take it as it comes. So just DCA, be an investor, it's okay. If you want to trade, go ahead and trade. Just don't trade all your assets away. That's all I'm saying. All right, so uh, Ethereum also dropped below 400, bummer. Tether, XRP, XRP down a little bit, but still around 25 cents. So that's pretty good. 274 for Bitcoin Cash, it's up 3.5. And that's like the only one that's actually up because everything else uh, is just uh, in a sea of red. And I have to tell you, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, yesterday I was pretty bummed out because the whole market had gone like way up. Now I'm feeling pretty normal. I'm like, oh, great. Now I can actually dollar cost average and scoop these things up at a discount. And this is the great thing about dollar cost averaging. You don't ever feel like that tightness. You're just, oh, I, got, I lost so much. No, when the prices dip down, you're like, this is great. I get to buy them on the cheap. Fantastic. And that's exactly what I'm doing uh, with Theta. Where'd Theta go? Here we are. So it's down 6%. This is great because yesterday I was kind of bummed out. I'm like, man, it's almost, almost at seven, 70 cents. Now today, it's 61 cents. Guess what I'm going to do? Buy more Theta on top of Celsius Network. And there it is down 4.7. So again, these are good days for me. I don't know about you, but I appreciate these days. Anyhow, and everything's pretty much uh, down the tubes uh, for today. But hey, tomorrow's a new day. If you don't like the price, just stick around for a little bit. It'll change. All right, that's enough of that. Let's jump into today's top story. So first up, the hits keep coming. This was the earnings report, the Q3 earnings report for MicroStrategy, which was done yesterday. And it's pretty revealing, not just on what's talking about here, about uh, Michael Saylor saying, hey, we're gonna buy more Bitcoin, or actually the, the president, that's uh, Michael Saylor's the CEO. The most telling thing is about what happened to the company, its stock prices, and how just the notoriety revelation of using Bitcoin has actually propelled this company uh, into greater heights. So what am I talking about? Here's what's happening. So MicroStrategy is looking to add to its 
521 million stash of Bitcoin, the company's president said Tuesday during their earnings call. With a recent rise in Bitcoin's price, its holdings are now worth, get this, 521 million or a 20%, 22% premium over the 425 million investment. So imagine this, you're a big company and then in the middle of September, you say, hey, let's just take this money and just put 425 million into this thing called Bitcoin. All right, sounds good, Pete. And then you do that and you're up like $100 million. <laughs> you're up like $100 million in like five weeks. That's insane. But that digital assets and cryptocurrency. Now they could have done this with gold and you know how that would have ended up. So, I mean, they still would have gained a little bit, but not like they would right here. And that's the whole thing about people who are like, you gotta buy gold, you gotta buy gold. Sure, go buy gold. But here's the thing. There is a much greater upside with cryptocurrencies, digital assets, and if I had to pick one, I'll say Bitcoin. So why not just do that? Why not just get both? It's not like one has to be the ultimate uh, prize winner. I mean, geez, come on. Anyhow, MicroStrategy President Fong Li said this, you should expect that we will purchase additional Bitcoin as we generate cash beyond what we need to run the businesses or the business on a day-to-day -day basis. So just by them getting into Bitcoin, the stock price went up exponentially. So they had posted a profit of almost 20 million or $2.06 per share, which is up 11 million or $1.13 just a year ago. So pretty good. They were at $1.13, now they went 206. Not too bad. And here's the thing, I've said this multiple times on the channel, I'll say it one more time. If you're new, welcome. And that is this, uh, other companies look to bigger companies. Other companies who are maybe drowning in fiat, as I like to say, uh, they're going to look at MicroStrategy and go, wow, they made $100 million in five weeks off this goofy thing called Bitcoin. It's not goofy, it's awesome. Maybe we should get into this ourselves. It's just a reciprocating momentum of self-reinforcing investment. And all these companies are going to start to say, we need to do that. And of course, what's happened with MicroStrategy, they're being looked at not only by other companies and investors, but also from companies that will use them and want to partner with them because they are looked at right now as a company who has vision and has foresight into the future. And the president says, this is benefiting our reputation overall, raising our mind share among prospective customers. And then Michael Saylor, the CEO, says pretty much the same thing and that, you know, other corporations are going to look to them uh, as the de facto way to handle an ever increasing inflation problem of currency. And to finish it all, MicroStrategy's share has risen over 40% since Saylor's first Bitcoin disclosure on August 11th. So again, nothing more than great news from a big corporation on top of the PayPal absorption of cryptocurrency digital assets. And uh, I mean, things are just going in the right direction. I think 2021 is going to be a great year. I don't know how 2020 is going to end up, but uh, I think we're going in the right trajectory. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.